George, uh, DKB here. So it's been a crazy last, you know, 24 to 48 hours with all the news, different moves dropping, but the general sense and, you know, the direction that things are going, it really feels like Odell Beckham Jr. may be joining the New York Jets. And there's been various sources across the NFL that have pretty much been, uh, you know, diving into this theory, which doesn't seem so much like a theory anymore. As well, one of the more known people, Zach Rosenblatt from The Athletic, he even mentioned that he thinks it's happening. And so we're starting to actually get an idea of some of these statistics for what the the, the contract may potentially ultimately end up looking like. And uh, there was a guy from Pro Football Focus, uh, one of the cap experts, Brad Spielberger, he actually shot out the idea that uh, Odell Beckham Jr. can get somewhere around a three-year $39 million contract, which in and of itself, I don't hate. We're talking about $13 million a year, just slightly more than Alan Lazard, and easily, uh, just based off talent, take out the health, would make him probably the second best wide receiver on the roster. Uh, I strongly believe in, uh, you know, Garrett Wilson and him being uh, unequivocal, uh, unequivocal number one wide receiver on this roster, but uh, the part I don't love about it is they're saying that he could get guaranteed $21.75 million. Seems a bit high again. Now let's add the injuries again. Just coming off his second ACL tear, he's missed all of the 2022 season while he was rehabbing and looking for a contract that would actually suit his needs. Uh, but all in all, from what I heard, Odell Beckham Jr. is looking to set down some roots somewhat, uh, which is why he was looking for a multi-year deal and not necessarily the one-year prove-it deals that maybe he's getting offered uh, per some of the tweets we've been seeing about him getting low-balled for like $4 million offers. But all of a sudden, our wide receiver core looks like it may be one of the overall best in the league. Lots of versatility and talent. Uh, uh, Different levels of production and what's been offered. Garrett Wilson, Miko Hartman, Corey Davis, Alan Lazard. We're thinking about adding Odell Beckham Jr. to the mix. And then we still have a young Denzel Mims as a protege on that roster, which ultimately he may not even see the field and end up being a healthy scratch again. But uh, this is a roster that is shaping up to look really, really good on the offensive side and something that could continue to entice Aaron Rodgers as we try to rebuild and restructure this offense around him and what he's not only looking to do as uh you know he goes on his quest for his second Super Bowl uh but in terms of longevity you're still talking about a roster that could ultimately still benefit either Zach Wilson or whatever quarterback ends up coming after him maybe we gear up um uh, maybe for some kind of project quarterback next draft uh somebody with a lot of tools you know similar names that have been thrown around now like richardson clayton toon uh any one of those guys realistically that has a little physical traits but maybe need some time to really develop the mental piece uh the progressions and all of that different kind of stuff so i would be very excited and i wouldn't be uh surprised to hear this news get confirmed, uh, you know, before the weekend is even out that Odell Beckham Jr. signs with the New York Jets uh, to set up what will be one of the strongest wide receiver cores in the NFL, not only with plus starting talent, but with depth all throughout and guys that could really take over each other's roles in a pinch. If there's injury bugs that spike up here and there, different things of that nature. But uh <laughs> Uh, our Super Bowl roster is looking pretty, pretty nice, and we haven't even hit the NFL draft yet to add in an influx of young talent. So uh, I'll be interested to see what we do. We may not necessarily need to hit um, the draft for wide receiver talent anymore. Maybe we rely on an undrafted free agent that we can kind of develop for a year or two. Um, but we're looking like we're set from top down. If Denzel Mims is suddenly our fifth or sixth best potential wide receiver option with the signing of Odell Beckham Jr., I'll say this is leagues ahead of anything that we've been able to see in the last 10 years. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Odell Beckham Jr., in my mind, is probably an 85% chance that he's coming to New York now. Let me know what you think about uh, him coming in, where he fits in the depth chart. I would comfortably slide him in at number two now uh, with Elijah Moore being gone. And I'll catch you guys again. Peace. Yeah.